Hi dear students, welcome to Geetha's classes. In this class, we are going to see the angle between two surfaces or in the same surface, a single surface at different two different points, you will be asked to find out the angle between uh, the normals or tangents. Okay, so from that, how can we find out the angle? That's what we are going to see. Before that, in the first two classes, I asked you to remember del. Del is what? I into this you have to remember I into do, do by do x plus j into do by do y plus k into do by do z. This is an operator. If it is operated on a scalar point function phi, it is called gradient of phi or grade phi that is del phi which is equal to I into do phi by do x plus j into do phi by do y plus k into dou phi by dou x. And the directional derivative in the previous classes we have find out we have found out this also directional derivative of phi in the direction of n cap is given by n cap dot del phi or n cap dot grade phi. Okay. Uh, so, if you want to know the problems, we have done some um, problems in the previous classes. Please go through that if you want to study that. Now, let us see the angle between the surfaces. So, if phi1 and phi2 are any two surfaces, the angle between the surfaces is given by cos theta is equal to, this is the formula, n1 bar by modulus of n1 uh, dot n2 bar by modulus of n2, where n1 bar and n2 bar are the normals to the surfaces phi1 and phi2 respectively. You can expect one definite question uh, from this. There are two different types of problems you are going to do. So, any one of that type you will definitely get and uh, throughout this unit you will be getting direct questions. There will not be any twist at all. Okay. So, if you understand the concepts, you will be able to do the problems and the questions will be direct questions. Okay. So, now let us find out the uh, let us do the problem. Find the angle between the surfaces x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 9 and phi 2. This is our second uh, surface that is x squared, x squared plus y squared minus 3 at the point 2 comma minus 1 comma 2. So, there are two different surfaces. So, let us take phi 1 is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus 9 and phi 2 is equal to uh, z minus or x squared plus y squared plus z minus z minus 3. Minus 3 minus z or minus z minus 3. Uh, so, phi 1 and this is our phi 2 be the given surfaces. Okay. So, now uh, how will you find out the angle between the uh, surfaces at these points? Uh, 2 comma minus 1 comma 2. Angle between the surfaces means angle between their normals. If you find out the angle between their normals, you can uh, that will give you the angle between the surfaces okay so uh, how will you find out the normal to the surface del phi del phi will give you the normal to the surface so n1 bar is equal to del phi 1 del phi 1 at the point uh, let us find out del phi 1 first that is 2x into i plus 2y into j plus 2z into Okay, this is our del phi 1. Uh, so, n1 bar is equal to del phi 1. First, let us find out del phi 1. Then, n1 bar is del phi 1 at the point 2 comma minus 1 comma 2, which is equal to 4i. If you substitute x is equal to 2, y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 2, you will be getting 4i minus 2j plus 4. Okay, this is our n1 bar. Okay. And n2, so uh, similarly, so what is the second uh, surface? x squared plus y squared minus z minus 3. So, del phi 2 is given by 2xi plus 2yj minus k. So, n2 bar is given by del phi 2 at the point 2 comma minus 1 comma x equal to 2, y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 2. If you substitute, you will be getting 4i minus 2j 
minus k, right? Uh, now, if uh, theta is the angle between these two surfaces, these two normals, uh, then n1 from n1 bar and n2 bar, we can find out the theta value. This is the formula cos theta is equal to n1 bar by modulus of n1 dot n2 bar by modulus of n2 bar. Fine. So, this is equal to, so just write the vectors that is 4i minus 2j plus 4k dot 4i minus 2j minus k or plus k minus k minus k divided by root of modulus of these two vectors. So, root of 16 plus 4 plus 16 into root of for this one 16 plus 4 plus 1 which is equal to the first one will be uh, 4 into 4 that is 16 and next 2 will get cancelled you will be getting the answer if you simplify you will be getting just substitute 4 into 4 minus of minus 2 into minus 2 that is uh, plus 4 again minus 4. So, 4 and 4 will get cancelled. Only 16 you will be getting and in the denominator 6 into root of 21. That is 8 by 3 into root of 21. Therefore, theta is equal to cos inverse of 8 by 3 into root of 21. Okay. This is one type of problem where two different surfaces and one point will be given. Now, uh, next one, we one more problem uh, type. One more type of problem we are going to see is one surface will be given, two different points will be given. You will be asked to find out the angle between the normals, uh, angle between the normals at these points. Okay, so find the angle between the normals to the surface x y is equal to z squared at the point four comma one comma two and three comma uh, three comma minus three. So let us take. Phi is equal to x y minus z squared. You can take z squared minus x y also. You will be getting the same answer. You need not worry about that. Okay. So, del phi is equal to i into by formula dou phi by dou x plus j into by definition dou phi by dou y plus k into dou phi by dou z. Right. So, this is equal to i into you differentiate partially with respect to x, y and z respectively. Uh, plus j into uh, x minus 2z into k. So, now let us take del 1 of 5. That is del 1 of 5 is del 5 at the point, first point that is 4 comma 1 comma 2 which is equal to i plus 4j minus 4k. Similarly, del 2 phi will be del phi at the point 3 comma 3 comma minus 3 which is equal to 3i plus 3j plus 6k. If you substitute the values at the equations, okay. So, in the del phi value, you will be getting these uh, vectors. So, what is our cos theta now? Cos theta is equal to del 1 phi divided by modulus of del 1 phi dot del 2 phi by modulus of del 2 phi. Del is the operator that one is our name we are giving for our reference. Okay. So, I plus 4j minus 4k dot second vector is 3i plus 3j minus sorry plus 6k divided by here for the first vector what is the modulus 1 plus 16 plus 16 and here 9 plus 9 plus 36. So, you will be getting 3 plus 12 minus 24 divided by root of 33 into 54. That is minus 9 by 
root of 33 into 54. This is our answer. Okay. So this is the angle between uh, the normals to the surface. So these two kind of problems you can get one definite question you can expect uh, for the university exam also. Even the same question also it is a repeated one. Uh, find the angle between the surfaces. Okay. If you want uh, do some problem well one homework if you want I will give you. I will give you the answer also. Find the angle between the intersection of the spheres. You can practice this problem. Find the angle of intersection of these spheres. x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 29 and x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 4x minus 6y minus 8z minus 47 is equal to 0 at the point at the point 4 comma minus 3 comma 2 it is very simple only by seeing this equation don't get annoyed it is uh, only uh, partial differentiation all these things you will be getting one two two terms only okay so find n1 and n2 and answer i'll give you cos theta is equal to 152 divided by root of 116 into root of 304 this is the answer okay you can verify and next we are going to see Next topic is uh, curl and divergent, divergence and curl. Okay. Thank you for listening.